Hello everyone, this is going to be a hopefully short video about Multipacker, which is a small tool that should save you some time. So, I, uh, I wanted to unpack every arc from RE5, but the problem is I cannot take multiple arc files and just drag and drop them on the batch file that is provided, because it doesn't support that. Um, it will only unpack the first one of the sections. So I asked um, for some help to my friend Nido, and he came up with a solution to batch, unpack, repack multiple docs for every game that Octal supports. So not just RE5, works with uh, Revelations, Revelations 2, RE6, even with the MC4, Dragon's Dogma, it should work. So this is really helpful for, say, people who make mods for Resident Evil 6 and want cutscene support. Because that way you can get organized like I did. So you can have um, an events folder where all the cutscenes are. So you know that when you replace something, something, something in weapon, then you, you can spread it to events easily by just unpacking and repacking everything and using Windows search to find where the files that you need are. So there's two ways to use it. And uh, uh, it's really simple, but uh, I wanted to make sure everyone knew how to use it. First, you got to grab it from Nexus Mod. So the link is in the description. Um, it's not it's not much. It's, it's just a, a bat, a readme, and an exe. They're here. So you need arc tool. You need arc tool multipacker. And we're going to run this. Now you can run it either through PowerShell or using a bat file. So the only difference is uh, you're going to have to double click the bat file if you want to run it. Um, in PowerShell, you just hit enter, but you have to type the command every time. Um, in a bat file, you can just have it right here, and that's it. So you can follow along. You're going to go through game, unpack, repack folder. You're going to go through that. So that's the readme. Uh, you're going to have to copy this line that I have in yellow here. And then you go to your working folder. Like I said, would suggest uh, having a similar structure here uh, so that you have everything sorted but what's actually in the archives. And then you type PowerShell. This will launch a window like that. You paste what you copied before and you can use left and right to go here. And then for me, it's RE5, but RE6, Revelation, Revelations 2 is supported. Just make sure to delete the brackets and choose either repack or unpack. And as for the folder, in my case, we're going to use uh, the versus folder because it's small, doesn't have much uh, much files. But do do keep in mind that uh, it is case sensitive, so uh, I have to type it as it as it is. If I type versus lowercase, it won't work, and I cannot have uh, a space in the name. You can have multiple folders, and uh, you will have to separate them by a space. That's why you're gonna have a space in the name. So I could also unpack items and uh, merc and whatever I wanted. So um, I'm just gonna unpack versus just so that it's fast enough. Uh, either hit enter, or if you're using the batch file, just run the batch file. A bunch of uh, windows will open. That's multiple instances of Actool running at the same time, so you basically uh, unpacking multiple archives. It will uh, it will convert uh, .txt to DDS files. Um, then you have all your archives unpacked as you want. And um, now if you want to repack them, it's the exact same process, so PowerShell uh, if you if you hit uh, up and down 
the up and down arrow, uh, you will get uh, the the last command you have entered. So if I just hit up, it brings the last command I've entered, which is the octal multipacker command. So I can just do that, and it will repack the versus folder. Again, I could have uh, multiple folders here separated by space. Does its job, and as you can see by the time and date, uh, I am using a 24 hours format, and uh, yeah, it's right now. So we just repack those. Now um, it's uh, it's a tool that for me is very very helpful because it saves me an incredible amount of time but I am pretty sure it should be helpful to a lot of you out there who are making mods and want to support cutscene but uh, you just hit the wall of uh, all of those arc you have to unpack and then modify and repack because it's some really really tedious work uh, so this should be helpful um, and that's it see you later